Hey guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3. Today we are going to be continuing on with the quest with Dijkstra. Um, we are going to be headed to Margrave's house, who, as we found out last time, Margrave is actually dead. Um, but Dandelion, who we're currently looking for, was basically pretending to be Margrave in order to break into Dijkstra's vaults and steal his fortune. So, um, in order to find Dandelion, we, I guess, are trying to follow his footsteps. So we are now headed to Margrave's house. I did want to quickly point out that I finally, finally got the Griffin School Gauntlets, um, as you can see. And then also, I let's go to the inventory. Um, I purchased a saddleback, so I actually have more storage now, finally. Um, and yeah, like I said, here are the gloves. So we are all decked out now in the Griffin gear. Um, I'm really excited. Um, also, some more stuff that I've done. Um, I added this ability point here since I tend to use a lot of oils when I'm playing um, and I also added on to this. I want to eventually be able to add more ability points to my fast attack since I've been trying to focus mostly on fast attacks now. Um, I know I still, I know I added into the strong attack but I'm I'm really liking using the fast attacks more, I think, and just like finishing with a strong attack. So I don't know. I'm just kind of messing around with the ability points to figure out what I like and what I don't like. Um But yeah, so I feel like this is coming along nicely. I was happy that we unlocked another one of these. Um and and yeah, so let's just continue on um with our search for dandelion and we will just go from there. Um, so yeah, let's go. So we're pretty close now to... Oh wait, here's the bank. Okay, I'm wondering if I just do this really quickly because I have tons of... Well, I think there's a quest here actually. But I don't remember which one it was. Um, and I don't... Actually, maybe not. I could have swore... I could have swore it was a side quest, but... Okay, that's fine. Let's talk. Well, well. Look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, I'm rich, guys. <laughs> I was, like, repairing all my armor and everything right before this, and, um, I was just doing all this stuff, buying all this stuff, and I still had so much money left. Oh my god, it was so nice. I'm sure at some point I'll be using it all again, but... Um, How can I be of service? What else can he do here? I need coin. Guess I have to take out a loan? Of course. I'll arrange it right away. Just like that? Lady Yennefer of Bengerberg long ago declared herself your guarantor. Were these circumstances ever to arise? Besides, we tried and true methods for collecting debts. Oh my god, I miss Yennefer. Oh, so I have more coin now. Well, I'm not sure what the loan was for. Okay, what How else? can I be <laughs> of service? Oh, I wanted to pay. What's the loan for? I'm not quite sure. How's business? Really? That's the best you got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the Pontar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Kovir. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think, 
But then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Um, okay. But you know what? Let's just pay it back so we're not back like, gaining loan. interest here. Blinded. I see you as even more credit worthy than before. Okay. Okay, so I guess um it was a Gwent quest, is why I was supposed to Until come next here. time. I do remember that. This is another merchant. Okay. Alright, back to the main quest. What's going on here? What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And a lion made some interesting friends. <laughs> I am curious how this is going to... Oh. Wait, how do I get in there? Kingfisher Inn proudly invites you to nightly performances by Priscilla the Calanetta. Guaranteed to tug every heartstring. Um, so what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. I'm, I am wondering what we're going to be saying to Dijkstra since we know that Dandelion is the one who broke in, like, we're probably not, or we're obviously not going to turn him in, but what are we going to say to Dijkstra about? How do I get in here? Oh, the Sometimes I forget that I can do this. Footprints. Okay. Good job, Geralt. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. things to loot. Oh yeah, I picked up these too and I never read them. Um, I'll, I'll read them, but not right the second. Just so we can kind of stay on track here. But I mean, obviously I have so many, um, just have so many side quests and stuff that I'll be able to do soon. So, um, try to keep some kind of order going on with this playthrough. Okay. Anything else that I'm missing down here? I don't think so. Follow the footprints. Okay. Well, what am I looking for again here? I forget. To be honest. Okay, there's nothing in this room, weirdly. Okay. I'll leave this. Uh, a letter. Uh, oh. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. With love from D. Okay. D as in dandelion. I'm assuming. Your birth year could be dandelions or series. Okay. How do I get how do I get through there? Solve the riddle from the mysterious note. Well, how do I do that? Mm. 
Where's the note? Okay, well, I guess I'm reading this stuff. <laughs> I wasn't trying to. Okay. I'm supposed to be doing something. I'm not quite sure. Something in here, maybe? Now? There we go. Okay. That makes sense. So I guess, so this will probably open the, uh, the wall. 1245 to 1254. Hmm. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Perfect. Let's go. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Mm. Okay. Let's loot everything we can. Definitely read that one before. now sugar and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil hmm potassium looks like they made the bomb here okay instructions on how to build a bomb signed by one kalkstein kalkstein i'm gonna have to read the character entries because i'm not quite sure That name sounds familiar, and I can't remember if it's from something I've learned in game or, I, or something somebody commented. I feel like it was a comment. I don't. I don't remember to be honest. Siri, Menge is following me. Mm. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. Oh. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Uh oh. Do do. Um, check what's going on downstairs. Stain. Wyvern oil. Okay, before we go down there, let's read this. Um, so I guess Menge. Oh, I should have known this guy was gonna have something to do with this quest. Um. What his role is. Oh my god, there's an entry for Bart. <laughs> we'll read this later. <laughs> uh, I want to read uh, this. Also, I want to see... I don't think that other name is here. No. Okay, let's just read this. Geralt and I had known the Doppler doo-doo for years, so he's a Doppler. From before the moment we had actually met him, in fact. You see, we first unwittingly talked to him when he was in Novigrad, impersonating another friend of mine, a halfling merchant named Dainty Dainty Bibervelt. Dudu had assumed Dainty's form to use the merchant's network of contacts for some business endeavors of his own. Dainty was infuriated at first at his inability to locate the imposter who had inserted himself into his dealings. But when Dudu's investments began generating sizable returns, the halfling changed his tune. He took the Doppler on as a partner, introducing him to everyone as his cousin, Dudu Bibervelt. Siri, Dudu, and I had all embroiled ourselves in quite the fiasco, but unlike me, the Doppler was not caught by the temple guard. Okay, let's uh, read Dijkstra's and Cleaver's, and then we'll read Bart's. <laughs> um, okay. The individual masquerading as Siggy Reuven was in fact none other than Sig Sigma Sigismund Dijkstra, the former head of Verdanian Intelligence, and a man Geralt and I had many dealings 
had had many dealings with in the past. He had fallen out of King Radovid's favor, and nothing had been heard of him for many years. But it seemed he had finally decided to emerge from the shadows. But despite, but instead of returning to high political wrangling, he dove deep into the criminal underground and quickly surfaced as one of its leading figures. Though he did not show it in his own way, Dijkstra respected Geralt, even though the very thought of their last meeting brought a pained grimace to his face. The two had found themselves standing in each other's way during the coup on Thanad Island. Thanad Island. The stalemate was quickly broken when Geralt summarily broke Dijkstra's leg. This spy's life story would make for a positively enthralling adventure tale. A victim of Philippa Eilhart's intrigues, he had been forced to flee Redania at breakneck speed or have his own neck broken by assassins. For a certain time, he sought refuge in far-off lands, but in the end, he decided to return to the free city of Novigrad. Well aware of Geralt's extraordinary talents, Dijkstra asked him to help find his stolen treasure. Though Geralt knew the identity of the criminal mastermind responsible, he decided not to divulge this information and set about investigating as if the case were a complete mystery. Yeah, and this, for some reason, last time just went like right over my head. I don't know what, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think I was just a little like tired last time. I played. Nothing was like clicking with me. Um, but I really, really liked Dijkstra and I liked his, um, I just liked the relationship between him and Geralt. They're both just like so sassy to each other and I love it so much. Um, and like just so like the dry, I love when someone like, I love a dry sense of humor. So yeah, it was really fun. I liked that. Um, okay. Cleaver. A joke circulates about the back alleys and seedy taverns of Novigrad. It claims the dwarf Carlo Veris, one of the four leading lights of the local criminal strata, was, in his own way, a fierce proponent of racial coexistence. He applied this principle in a somewhat selective fashion, however. Cleaver firmly felt that, as an assimilated dwarven resident of the city of Novigrad, he had every right to run his own business. Anyone who had a problem with the way he ran it or with the nature of his dealings, be they dwarf, human, or halfling, revealed themselves a vile racist. And what was the only fitting thing to do with such scum? Why, feed them to a herd of ferociously hungry hogs, right after he sliced off their fingers with his namesake cleaver. Naturally, such tales could very well have been mere rumor and slander, but very few had the courage to test their veracity. Cleaver was famed for his hot temper. What boiled his blood hottest of all, however, were folk who thought they could pull one over on him. No wonder, then, that the attack by Horson's thugs riled him somewhat. The violent tirade he directed at Wiley clearly contained not idle threats, but promises he meant to keep, even if doing so meant leaving half a district of the city in ruins. He's an interesting character, and I'm, I'm excited to do his little side quest. Okay, and now my favorite character of all, <laughs> Bart the Troll. Um, I'm really excited to meet some of the other trolls that I've been told are also really entertaining and lovable. So, um, so yeah, big fan of the trolls. <laughs> uh, Bart the troll guarding Dijkstra's treasure could have been the poster boy for the latest craze among Novigrad's wealthy strata, a trend that had swept over everyone from bankers and merchants to underworld crime bosses. The fashion in question prized guards marked not just by fierce loyalty but also by massive size endless stamina and crushing physical strength a well-developed intellect on the other hand was considered unnecessary and quite possibly detrimental to the guards performance to be blunt a good watchman should be brainless enough to render any thought of betraying his master impossible that is why trolls ogres and as a last result magic crossbreeds were highly prized for such roles Aww. He was so sweet and cute, though. Okay. Okay. I'm good with not reading the other ones for now. Okay, let's save. And hopefully I got everything. Now we can figure out who's downstairs. I wonder if it's dandelions, um, like comrades, or... Somebody we're not gonna have to fight? I don't know. Dijkstra and Triss. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, I was not expecting those two, <laughs> to be honest. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Mm. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Mm. Stop by to see if everything was all right. It's not wrong to be worried. Bullshit. You don't trust me. <laughs> I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can Good we point. get to the point? Good point, Triss. <laughs> Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. <whistles> well, well, Mary. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Uh-oh. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Margrave Henkel told me everything? I don't know what that means. Henkel told me. Old man's alive oh. and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. <laughs> if you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, uh -oh. you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still oh, say I can okay, make it your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, Fuck. I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I'd still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. Oh, and that's no. one thing I can't stand. I messed up. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna lie to him, but then we're just gonna, like, insult him. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able to make it's use of like... someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on, admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Oh boy. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we'll just say this. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. 
thought you'd correct him. Say that we, you know. Dixture doesn't need to know everything. You didn't say anything either. Oh boy. The, f the flirting. Um. Okay, you know, we're gonna take this as far as we can, but I'm still feeling like I like Yennefer more than I like Triss, so. It's fine, it's fine. You could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. Okay. Um... Okay, so let's open up the journal really quickly. So, I'm assuming that these two quests are... Like, if I complete this one, I'm not gonna lose this one, right? So, the quests in this game sometimes, like, throw me off. Like, I'm, I'm never quite sure, like, what I'm supposed to be doing first or not. We'll just continue, I think. I'm pretty sure we'll still get to do this after. I think it's similar to the quests from the very beginning. There were a couple main quests that we... Yeah, it was like the... It was like the Crone's quest and also the Baron's quest were like at the same time. So I'll finish. Um, let's finish this Count Reuben's treasure. I missed something here. Cool. Okay, that should hopefully be it. Oh, of course it's raining. It rains after every single quest. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm naked. I'm naked. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, so I'm excited to, uh, Eternal Fire Shrine near the harbor route at midnight. I'm excited to, um, hopefully get to fight the Eternal Fire people <laughs> some more. I can't stand them. Uh, let's see if right here. Alright. Well, let's, uh, Meditate. Midnight. All right, here we go. It's time. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Oh, bait. <laughs> uh, Triss, sure about this? <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Oh, amazing. Pink. <laughs> Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. Mm. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Chris, think about it. 
really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. <laughs> no, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision, and I won't change it. Yeah, she's made up her mind, girl. Let her do her thing. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. <laughs> oh, she's cute. So I'll just still think I like it for more. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady. But I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Mm, all right. Wow, she's really, like, risking a lot here for him. That's crazy. Triss is a homie, all right? <laughs> She's a real one. <laughs> what do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Gonna believe this? Well, well, Triss Merigold, giving up drowners for sorceresses, pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Merigold. Rude for good. Put her in a cell. <laughs> oh no. Are we gonna... Are we gonna blow it? <laughs> um... Shit. Well, Geralt is such a ladies' man. I feel like this would piss him off, so... <laughs> we're, we're gonna, um, blow Hands our cover. off. What did you say? Yeah, I sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, uh, witch. Uh -oh. One of the same. <laughs> so they can burn at one of the same stick. Okay, see. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We need to... Am I gonna have to fight my way through this entire? Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, I just did. I just die. Yeah. <laughs> I should have known. I was. I knew I was going to get into some kind of fight there, and I just 
still did not prepare myself. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god, where did it save, though? Oh, right, right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay, so we want this, we want this. Um... Okay, for some reason, I keep mixing up what buttons what for these, and it's not good. Um, we want that there. I think that is T. Then we want to do... I believe this is F, right? So we'll do that. I think that should be fine. Oh, why did I do that? That's annoying. I can also can't see Jack shit. Okay, we're gonna have to fight our way through this entire thing. <laughs> I did not think this through. <laughs> um, uh, what do I want to put here again? Oh, cat. It's, I can't, I literally can't see. Is it one of these? Which one is it? I never remember. Okay, it's one of these. Alright, so this I believe is why. Yeah, it is. Alright. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> ah. Shit. Shit. Oh shit. 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 My dumbass just it's fine. Oh, there's... oh man. Oh, we gotta fight him. Okay, can you not? Can you not? No, out of my way. Out of my way. Let's loot. Let's loot. I want all of this stuff before we fight him. Good thing I got more storage space. Okay, um... Let's do this really quickly. Instead of wasting a cat potion, I hate cat potion. <laughs> what do we got? Any good loot up here? No, let's go back down. Chris, oh my god, she is just, oh, oh my god, literally, out of my way, please. Let me get back down the stairs here. Wait, how did I get up here? Oh, it's in the middle. Oh, I'm excited to kill him. I literally always just 
<laughs> like I feel like in most circumstances I try to be very diplomatic, but for some reason the fire, the eternal fire people just like, I just want to kill them. <laughs> I don't know what it is. They're just annoying, you know? Save. Um, any other loot down here? Yeah. Gonna loot everything we can. I'm sure there's probably a chance to do it after we fight him, but um, you never know. Right, so we'll do that. that do that then we'll do um which one is it again this one oh oh fuck i didn't mean to do coin again <laughs> I think that's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. <laughs> True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. Okay. I'd start with the desk. Okay, cool. I I'm not that mad at my decision, to be honest, so. It was fun. Got all loot, steal all this shit really quickly. Let's look at the desk. Okay, letter to Caleb Menga. Caleb, I have new instructions regarding the organization of the next execution. When you are ready to meet, place your holy tome in the drop box located in the column of the eternal fire altar in the southwest corner of the bits. We will meet at the usual spot. Do not tell anyone where you are going and bring no one with you. Burn this letter after reading. Yammerlock. Okay, I don't know who that is. Letter from Dudu. Siri, if you're reading these words, that means you have solved my riddle, for which you have my congratulations. It also means that you have not yet been caught and are still a Novigrad, which worries me greatly. I do not know exactly what you did on Temple Isle, but Menga is furious and will not rest until he captures you, skins you alive, and burns you at the stake. And now that he's got his sanctimonious paws on Dixtra's treasure, he can hire enough men to, to search every home in the city thrice over. I am a Doppler, so I will be able to hide, but you, you must flee while you still can. Your doo doo. P.S. Don't even think about trying to break Dandelion free from Menga's clutches. It's impossible. But knowing our friend, he'll wriggle his way out somehow. Or at least, I hope he will. Okay, Dandelion's probably not here. He's probably gone. Which is probably, which I'm assuming is where the other part of the uh, <laughs> main quest comes in. Um, PPS, forgive me for not writing how to contact me, but A, you are to flee, remember? B, Melatel guards those who guard themselves. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. 
Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes. Secret signals. Yeah. Strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. Alright. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. Okay, yeah, so now we're gonna be, like, fighting people, because we just freaking slaughtered. Um, I just saw something. Alright. Let's pull this bad boy back out. Locked. Oh. Unlocked. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Find a way out. Ouch. Oh my god, her fire, the sound of her fire. Is it through one of these doors or something? What is she doing? No. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss. Okay, where, where am I supposed to go? Here? Here somewhere? Okay, now to find Dijkstra. Oh, there's something over here. Just looking for loot, you know me. Okay. Let's go.
How do I get out of here? I want to get, like, up there, I think. Wait. Hello? Oh, oh, here we go. Perfect. You there, Mr. Roven wants a word. Uh -uh. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. <laughs> Be there soon. What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> Will you stop following me already? I will. As soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault? That I need to find on my own? <laughs> You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. What's happening? Mm. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark, no scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't dare to uh, share that information with me. <laughs> Stop crying. Oh, man. Mm, uh, whatever. How do you find out? Whatever. I asked the questions here. Not true. That was a statement. Come on, Dijkstra. This tough guy act doesn't work on me. We're both adults. Act like one. <laughs> ah, Geralt. I should have you strangled, but I like you, you bastard. <laughs> I like him. I like you too. You count without a county? Now that we've professed our feelings for each other, how do you <laughs> figure it out? Since from the start, you were up to something. You didn't haggle about your pay. And then I heard from my sources that Margrave Henkel and Dandelion had rubbed elbows. Wasn't hard to connect the dots. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. Nice. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. <laughs> How the hell do you know this? Oh, we'll just thank him. That's fine. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. <laughs> and a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Yeah, you know literally everything. Okay, well, we don't need this. <laughs> Um, Count Ruben's treasure. Find the drop box using your Witcher senses. Place the holy tome there to signal that you want to meet with the spy. Okay. Do we... Oh my god, I have so much loot! And I still have so much space in my storage. It's great. Um... Let's, uh... Let's go to the journal. We're gonna sell some stuff in a second. Alright, let's, let's read... this <laughs> okay yeah i wanted to read this um 
The Witcher. Oh wait. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely probably a mistake. Just attacking, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, the Witcher has many virtues, but sadly, patience and subtlety are not among them. And so, instead of sticking to the plan, Geralt decided to do things his own way by slicing down every witch hunter in Sword's Reach and butchering Caleb Menga before getting any useful information out of him. Luckily, however, Geralt did not leave the compound empty-handed. He found instructions among Menga's documents for contacting a mysterious individual who seemed to be directing the Temple Guard's actions. There was a chance this eminence, Grice, whoever he or she was, knew something about my fate. Um, Dijkstra, or Dijkstra was less than satisfied with Geralt's performance as a treasure hunter. Firstly, the Witcher had not actually recovered any treasure, just a key found on Manga's body that might open a vault that might contain the treasure, assuming said vault could even be located. Secondly, Dijkstra realized Geralt had been hiding something from him the entire time, the identity of the criminal mastermind responsible for planning the heist. But was this truly so difficult to guess, dear reader? After all, who else but a, a bard could have planned such planned with such cunning and panache, panache? The old acquaintances ultimately parted on good terms, but it was clear to both their next meeting might not be so amiable. Oh, man. I'm going to be really curious to see what um, some of your guys' comments are on my decision making here. Because <laughs> I definitely, I'm not really sure what would have happened um if we had gone the diplomatic route like i i'm just i was a little confused like i it seemed to me like they would just have tris after that right um i mean i'm sure she could have gotten out or maybe we would have gotten her out of it at the end i'm not really sure but i don't know when i just when, when i see the eternal flame people in general i just see red <laughs> so i was just like no nah, don't don't hit her also i feel like with with gerald like he's such a like romantic and he's such a ladies man and i feel like that just would like hitting a woman like that would not fly with him he was just like, fuck that. We're going to just go in guns blazing and just kill everyone. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It was fun. Um, I am curious. I, I would really love to know. I mean, don't tell me because uh, I don't know if I want to be spoiled, like what the other outcome necessarily would have been. But let's um let's do this next part here. We might as well keep going, I think. This is really pretty right here. Look at that sky. Okay. How would I know? Oh yeah, what I wanted to do before that was go to a, actually we can, I don't think we can sell to him yet, right? The other guy is like over here somewhere, or oh, can we, can we sell to this guy? I forget. Okay, relax lady. Alright, let's see. I think this is the guy that um, we're supposed to be. Oh, wait, maybe not. Oh, it is. Oh. This the place. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I didn't want to do this. Ready? No, no. We're not ready. We're not ready. Need a minute. Very well, but hurry, please. Okay, that's not. I don't want to go. There. Alright. Where's. I don't know where the other blacksmith is. I want to sell stuff. I could just go here and sell to the armor. I know there's an armor over here. Even though I have a ton of like space now in my storage, I 
don't want to keep hoarding stuff like I seem to always do. So, alright. I feel like... Is there not a blacksmith in, like, Hierarch Square area? Oh, they're right here. Right here. Perfect. Need something sharpened, reforged. I need to sell. What do you have on offer? Okay. That's all that too. So long. Uh, I also wanted to wait, we can start looking for this too. There's so many different gears that we can Oh, this isn't care more in though. Oh, so we will be able to find this stuff in Novigrad. I'm going to want to do this eventually. We're getting close to level 18 where we can, like, start using this stuff. So, um, okay. All right, let's go. Ooh. I'd like to get as far along in this um, part of the quest as I can today. I don't know how much more we have left to do. back to health. He's a good man. Honest. Righteous. Eternal fire. You are my only Place own. Place the holy tome here. Grant what I ask and I'll spare no offering. Where am I supposed to put it? Oh. No. Not here. Oh, right here. I see it. Okay. Let's do that. Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. I should show up in far corners before midnight. Okay. Be at the arranged meeting place at midnight. Okay, let's go. Lots of running. Let's meet him all the way. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Anything else I could put away in here? No. I was going to sell the rest of want to sell the rest of these books. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Where's that at? What the heck? Oh. So wind. Shallow but severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Beast for Crows, a level 20. Geralt spent some time running around in the dank alleyways of Novigrad and at one point came upon the body of a mysterious man. 
A cursory inspection revealed that this unfortunate soul had been struck several times with a sharp object, though he seemed to have managed to flee his attacker and hide in this alley. He had bled to death shortly thereafter. Geralt realized he could follow the trail of blood and find out who had done this to him and why. It's, it's level 20 though. I know I could probably do it, but because it's still in white, but I, I just worry. <laughs> But again, like I said, I want to. Oh, wait. Kept running until he bled to death. Um. Like I said, I want to continue I'm with. Old succubus drains my will to live. Oh. Okay. I want to continue with the main quest for now until we finish this part of the main quest, the Count Ruben's quest. Um, and before we do get Junior. I want to um, Not good. Not good. do some side quests, and possibly a contract or two. Ah. Okay. So just gotta go back to. Oh, where am I? I want to go to Hierarch Square. Oh, no, no, not here. Now we get over there. It's over here somewhere. Oh. Everyone is so rude, I can't. Um, okay, it's over here. It's, uh, here? Oh, I don't think so. Over here? Yeah, over here. Okay, sell our books. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but oh, we've ones with drawings as well. Let's see these books of yours. Rude, first of all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, well, this is a diary, so we'll keep the diary. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I can keep the diary just in case. I don't think we would probably need it for anything, but... You never know. Okay. Farewell. Okay. Now we can go meet up with this spy. Have I been to the fish market here? There's just so much to see. I just love the freaking atmosphere here. It's so cool. I do just wish some of the town, like more of the townsfolk, had stuff to say. Oh, where are you going? Run, run! Oh. Got my eye on you. Huh? <laughs> where were you running to? Oh. oh. I see somebody. I he was probably running over here, but. Killed him. <laughs> I was like, did I really kill him with that? I'm gonna just jump on your dead body. Are they just always gonna spawn here no matter what? <laughs> I just feel like they keep spawning there. 
somebody comes and cleans up their dead bodies and then they, uh, more people come back. It's funny. Sorry. Right, where are we going? How far, how far away is this? Okay. Uh, we probably could have fast traveled and it would have been quicker, but that's okay. I hope Roach is doing okay. I haven't seen Roach in a while. There hasn't been a need to ride around on horseback. Okay. Excuse me. I heard singing, I thought. I don't know if it was just the song. Outside. Where are we hide? Oh, um. Yeah, it says out. Oh, okay. let's, just, let's just loop while we're in here. Behind the oh. door. Best place to hide. Classic. Okay. I guess. Okay. We will hide. Oh, so much. save and we can hide I'm just right here okay let's meditate till midnight it's very early we're gonna be, we're gonna be here for a long time <laughs> like really a whole day How do you know to... Ah, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, <laughs> mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. <laughs> Shh. He's coming, hide. That's hilarious. Menge. Nope. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never, but to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Oh. Had enough? God damn. Off. I can take this. Of course you can, but I'm just getting started. Triss, stop. First, let him. Please. We gotta get some info out of them. Like, let's not so, murder them. Uh, depends on the question. Pure curiosity. Who do you work for? I won't say. 
no way. Sure about that? Yes. No matter what you do, witch, uh. that I will never reveal. Okay, fine. Where'd Manga hide Siki Ruben's treasure? I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl with pain again. Yeah, and yet I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? I think he's telling the truth. Ugh, looks like it. I guess. We're looking for Dandelion. We know Manga captured him. But, that's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel. You might have said so from the start. Mm -hmm. Before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. Dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga is planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Oh Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Menga's dead. Execute in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Okay. So... <laughs> Killing Mecha was probably. Oh, that was probably so stupid of me. <laughs> Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us? And... Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. Oh. But why? I told you. I'll never. Either he dies. Or I wipe his mind. Oh. Strip him of his memory. But, but, but I helped you. I helped. It's not so bad. I promise. He slay and gave. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like having to choose that. I mean, I feel like I guess it's I guess it's better than death. I don't know. How do you feel? Base, cruel, vile. I could go on, but I need to get out of here now. Mm. Go home, bathe, then drink myself to oblivion. Walk you home? Not today, Geralt. Not today. But... There is one other thing I wanted to talk about. So, mind coming by later? Manga's dead, true, but that hardly marks the end of my troubles. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Manga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Hmm. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. Wow. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's move, Geralt. Alright, we have a lot of updates here. New quest. Matter of life and death. Okay. Just waiting for all our notifications. Okay. Um. So I'm assuming whatever that one quest popped up was for Triss. Yeah. Um. Okay. 
Let's go read some of these character entries. So who was updated? Um, Menge. Menga. Mm. Geralt first saw Menga lighting Chappelle's pyre in Novigrad's main square and had no doubt that for this man, the App Appalachian fanatical Horson was too mild by far, which is why I was not pleased to say the least when an unfortunate turn of events led to my capture by the agents of this vile fam. The paranoid executioner never set foot outside his fortified headquarters without a crowd of armed guards to accompany him. Knowing my life was on the line, my friends decided to pursue a risky plan to infiltrate Menga's offices. Their only hope for a face-to-face -face meeting. <laughs> I am so stupid. I don't know why I did <laughs> chose to just attack them. Ugh. Like the whole point was to talk to them. Oh, whatever, whatever. Um upon closer acquaintance, Menga only confirmed Geralt's initial impression of his bestiality. Luckily, the Witcher's Blade ended this madman's life and rid the world of one of rid the world of one of the more hideous monsters ever to walk its surface. Who else popped up here? I don't Oh, Dijkstra. Oh, and Dandelion was the other one. So let's read Dandelions. Um, Having learned of my disappearance, Geralt dropped everything to find out what had become of me, though at first he suspected the cause of my trouble lay in my many and turbulent affairs of the heart. He later determined that I had strayed into a life of crime, seeking to steal treasure belonging to one of the leaders of Novigrad's underworld. Only a madman calls it courage to fight when faced with overwhelming odds. Though known for my capricious and unpredictable charm, I am not yet considered mad. And so, while defending my companions' escape to the very last, I ultimately allowed the temple guard to take me to that prison where I awaited my imminent execution. Okay. And then we'll read for we'll read Dijkstra's. Um... Let's see. Where did I leave off? Though he did not show it in his own way, Dijkstra respected Geralt, even though the very thought of their last meeting brought a pain grimace to his face. The two had found themselves standing in each other's way during the coup. On okay, I read that. Um, this spy's life story would make for a positively enthralling adventure tale. A victim of Philippa Eilhart's intrigues, he had been forced to flee Redania breakneck speed or have his own neck broken by assassins for a certain time he sought refuge in far-off lands but in the end he decided to return to the free city of novigrad well aware of Geralt's extraordinary talents dijkstra dijkstra asked him to help find his stolen treasure. oh i think i read all of this uh, though the witch's lips remained tightly sealed regarding my role in the treasure heist dijkstra still sniffed out his dishonesty and made clear how much he disliked being played for a fool okay So, uh, how much of this guy's uh, memory did we wipe? All of it? <laughs> like, I feel kind of bad. But, okay. So, we want to go talk to Priscilla again. Who is all the way there. So, let's go here. Let's, uh, you know, let's keep going. Might as well. Getting closer and closer to saving Dandelion. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Stop coming here. Why? Even with the war on she, they still like upstairs to or something? Fine Watch it. The liquor is the same. Oh, sure, here. But the clientele is oh. not. Oh, ah, true. The rabbit. They did indeed just look at the speech of guards before. Just the out here. Right? 
there's definitely like upstairs. I love the noises they make when I pop into the Wait, she's downstairs? So that's what that means, right? Shoot. Oh, over here. One cannot make an omelette without making an egg. There she is. Okay, I'll save really quickly. Geralt! Hello. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how'd you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellendale. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first. Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well... I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. Not a jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry. We'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Doodoo. So you must find Doodoo in order to find Dandelion? With the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Fun. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. All right. Cool. Take care now. Okay, so we finished the Count Reuven's treasure quest and we are now finally another step closer to finding dandelion we have a much better idea now of where he is so eventually we will be trying to find him and rescue him i had a lot of fun um with today's episode um obviously i'm sure there's going to be some people that are not happy with the decision i made today to just kill manga and all the like eternal fire people or temple guards or whatever they're called but you know that's just how i'm playing Geralt. i think never mess with his women and if you're an eternal fire person you're just we don't like you basically because you're not nice people so yeah i you know i don't regret my decision i mean i know i said a couple times during the playthrough that i was probably made a dumb decision um but at the end of the day i don't regret it i enjoyed murdering all of them but yeah, so I think next time we are going to take a break from the main quest again. We have so many Witcher contracts and side quests here in Novigrad that we can do now currently. So I think that's going to be the plan. Um, we'll get through some of the lower leveled ones first and work our way up. And then we will get back to the main quest after that. I'm really excited. I'm The story is getting really interesting. I'm enjoying all the new characters that we've been meeting here in Novigrad. And I'm excited to keep playing. So anyway, as always, thank you guys again so, so much for watching. If you've been enjoying the series and you enjoyed today's episode, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really, really help out the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Little by little, you take control.